nipple piercings. Should you do one or you should you do both at the same time? Coming up next on Pros and Cons by a Piercer, episode number 49, starting right now. For those who are new to the channel, hello, my name is Davo. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. I own and operate the Axiom Body Piercing Studio located here in Des Moines, Iowa, inside Skin Kitchen Tattoo. So when I talk to you about these things, I'm talking to you as an expert, as someone who has done thousands upon thousands of nipple piercings and has answered this question probably just as many times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through like seven basic things that you should consider when deciding whether or not to do one or to do both. And those are going to include pain, healing, sleeping, partners, cost, look, how it looks, and placement. So let's start off with, with pain. Everybody experiences things differently. That's the reality of anything in life. Nipple piercings have a reputation of being very painful and it is kind of a little bit earned and a little bit not earned. They're not really that much more painful than other piercings. A lot of it comes down to your sensitivity and the experience level varies greatly from person to person. Now, when taking into account your fear of pain or trying to get the least amount of pain when getting uh, your nipples pierced, the reality is, is that maybe that second one's going to uh, be a little bit more painful than the first one, but it's not going to be that much of a difference. Uh, what kind of happens, and a lot of it comes down to how your body reads signals and how it reacts to it. So you get pain. Your body goes, hey, uh, hey, hey, mister or missus, uh, or, you know, you should pay attention to that. When that pain comes, it happens again, your body goes, yeah, buddy, you, you need to do something about that. And when it happens a third time, it's like, yeah, you really need to focus on this and figure out what's going on. So it gives you these signals uh, progressively a little bit more each time until the endorphins kick in and all that stuff. Any piercing grouping you do, regardless of where it's on the body, usually the first one's going to be the least painful and it's going to kind of uh, raise slightly from there. With nipple piercings, most of the clients that I've asked them what the difference was, they said maybe on a scale one to 10, the first one was maybe a four to five, and the second one was more like a four and a half to maybe five and a half. So we're looking at like just a slight difference between the two. The other thing to consider is usually one is more sensitive than the other. Uh, if you've if you've done things with your nipples, you will already know this. Uh, whether or not that really makes a difference, who knows? Now, if you do one at a time and go through the whole process twice, all your anxiety, nervousness, the intensity of the pain, uh, everything that goes into that first time walking in to get it done, Yes, you may have a little better understanding of what the experience is going to be like, but I can tell you that you're going to have to go through all of that all over again. So in a lot of ways, if you're concerned about pain, just get it all over with at once. Healing. Okay, so here's a big one. With healing, nipples can take anywhere, usually from six months to a year to heal. So if you do the first one in, let's say, January, and you do the second one in March you're extending that period of time that you're going to have to go through that healing process. Especially if you wait all the way till June, you're looking at 18 months of healing a piercing. Think about that. 18 months of taking care of it, doing soaks twice daily, 18 months of cross-contamination prevention that's going to avoid things like swimming, um, in especially things that go on in the summertime. All of those things that we suggest, and there's a number of videos on here that I've already done on how to take care of piercings, all of those things for 18 months. Think about that. So doing both of them at the same time, you're basically just going to have that flat healing period. It's, uh, this, some will heal, one side will heal a little faster than the other one, 
but really for the most part, you're looking at just six months to a year, not 16, six months to 18 months to 24 months, et cetera. Sleeping. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is, is the best way to sleep when you're healing a piercing is like a mummy flat on your back, like this. Most of us don't sleep that way. That's the truth of the matter. Uh, most of us sleep on our side or our stomach. Of course, with nipple piercing, stomach sleeping is off the table. Cannot do it unless you can figure out some way of keeping those piercings off the bed. With side sleeping, um, some people notice a little bit of difference, uh, maybe a little bit more grumpiness, maybe a little bit longer healing time, and maybe a little bit more pragmatic on the side that they sleep on. That isn't everybody, but it is something to consider because, of course, that piercing is going to be closer to bedding. It's going to be more likely to come in contact with bedding, um, clothing, etc. Partners. This one's a huge one. Now, first and foremost, I want to make it completely clear. You should discuss anytime you're going to do something in your life that may impact a long-term partner. That is a discussion that you should have. However, it is your body to do what you want with it. Yes, you can listen to your partner. You can ask for their advice. You can uh, get their feelings and take their temperature on the whole situation. But it comes down to it is your decision, finally. End of conversation. Now, with that said, once a piercing uh, is done, it turns into an area that we like to refer to as the Forbidden Zone. So if your partner's really going to have like a burr up their butt about it, you may want to consider doing one at a time. So that way, one side's in the forbidden zone and the other side isn't. And they can do whatever they like with it. Uh, you really should probably kind of consider it. That's only really, that's one of the major advantages possibly to doing one at a time. But it comes with all the baggage that we've already talked about doing one at a time. That moves us on to cost. Yes, of course. Two things you want to consider when you're talking about the price of a piercing. What you are paying for is the jewelry, the uh, supplies that it takes to do the piercing, and the amount of time it takes for your piercer to do that piercing. So that's three things. So if you get everything done in one sitting, the piercer only has to go through the consultation once. They only have to set a, or go through the after or the uh, release form once or waiver. They only have to go through uh, the setup, the piercing procedure, and the aftercare instructions. If you do it at two separate times, they have to go through all of that all over again. So usually, if you do both of them at the same time, you're going to get some type of a break in the price. That varies from studio to studio. Some are a little bit more aggressive about the pricing when it comes to stuff like this, and other ones aren't. If you do one at a time, you're going to pay full price both times. So if you're looking to save money, your best bet is to just do both of them and get it over with. Look! <laughs> How does the piercings look? This is a common one. I... Uh, some people, they, they like the look of just one on, one on one side and not the other side. That may be the style they're going for. And if that's the case, then yes, do one. But don't consider doing the other one. So you wouldn't even be watching this video because you already just want to do one, right? The rest of you, you're going to eventually get out of the shower one day and be toweling off and catch a look at yourself in the mirror or wherever you hang out without a shirt on and go... I don't like this. It looks unbalanced. It looks weird. We like symmetry as humans. We like things that match. And it will drive you a little bit nuts just to have one nipple piercing. I've had a lot of clients where they claim they're never going to ever, 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 ever going to get the second one done. And then end up showing up two weeks later to get the second one done. It's just one of those piercings. They like to be in groups. They like to hang out together. They're communal. Lastly, placement. Here's the thing. Um, because the nipple will grow and develop during the healing process, the further you long you wait in that healing process to get the second one done, if you do one at a time, the harder it's going to be to match those so that they, the placement so that they match. 
It's much easier to do that when you're doing both of them because you can just line up things exactly the way you want them. You're gonna pierce them almost exactly the same. Of course, each nipple is slightly different um, in size and shape in most cases, but it's gonna be done to kind of match it. When you come back in six months later, a year later, two years later, we're guessing at what's gonna match that other piercing. And you may not even be able to notice the difference, but there might be a slight difference in the placement between the two of them. So that's all I have to say on the subject. I hope I gave you enough information that you can make a uh, educated decision on whether or not you wanna do one or both in one sitting. If you have any questions, if you feel like I brought up something you didn't explain it completely, or you have other suggestions for other people, do leave a comment. Um, we like to share information. That's half the fun of this channel is everybody giving out information and sharing that knowledge with everyone. It's part of your job. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up because we like it when you like it. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos, um, especially about body piercing and tattooing with a focus on education, hit that uh, subscription and click on the notification bell so you're notified every single time we post something. Check out our merch store. We have lots of t-shirts on there designed by yours truly and the artists of the Skin Kitchen. Lots of different designs, styles, etc. And everything from just basic t-shirts to the all over prints to leggings, tote bags, uh, camera cases, and, and decals. Stickers. Everybody likes stickers. However, till next time, here's hoping all your piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I hope to see you for your body piercing and tattooing needs in the future. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, everybody. Enjoy yourself because you got no one else to blame if you don't.